In solving this question, is an Olympiad exam question anyway, you need to be very careful, very careful. Because from this question, you're not asked to find the value of y, you are asked to find the value of y factorial. So be very careful, look at the question very well before you solve the question. Now, to solve this question, we'll have uh, y to the power of y to be equal to uh, 2 to the power of 8. So y to the power of y, recall that 2 to the power of 8 can be equal to 2 multiplied by 4, right? That will be equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 4. So if we simplify that for that, we're going to have this equation to now give us uh, y to the power of y equal to, I want you to recall that according to the law of indices, if we have a to the power of x, y, this can be equal to a to the power of x, right? All in bracket to the exponent of y square. So if we apply that over here, we're going to have that same, we're going to have that same equation to become, to give us this. So this will give us two to the power of two, and you see the reason why we did this, all to the power of four. So our uh, y to the power of y will be equal to two to the power of two is equal to four, and that will be equal to four to the power of four. Now let's look at another equation. If we have our uh, a to the power of a equal to y to the power of y, this from indices, our uh, a will be equal to y. As long as y is greater than or equal to one. So from that expression, we'll have our y to be equal to four. Now note the question. From the question, we are not asked to find the value of y to solve for y. We are asked to solve for y factorial. That's why I said you should be very, very careful. So if y is equal to four, then y factorial will be equal to four factorial. And four factorial is equal to four multiplied by three, multiplied by two, multiplied by one. 4 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 12 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And 12 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 24. So this is going to give us 24. So y factorial is equal to 24. Now let me give you a tax. From this expression, we've gotten our y to be equal to 4. Now confirm if this solution y equal to 4 truly satisfy this exponential equation. I want you to take this value of y equal to 4 and uh, substitute it into the original equation and let's see if uh, that solution will give us uh, this value which is 2 to the power of 8. So substitute the value of y equal to 4 into this expression simplify it and let's see what your solution will be like i'll be glad to see your comment in the comment section and then i will gladly engage with you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with friends and colleagues and don't forget to follow and subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solution thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now